everybody, I am here today with Grace Helbig of oh. Daily Grace. She's finally on my show! We asked on Twitter what truths or dares you would like us to do. So we're gonna do our best to do some for you. Yes. Let's have a look. Oh boy. Do your best impression of a sloth. Oh god, I don't like sloths <laughs> and animals. Okay, but this is my impression. Yep, yep, I hate it. Oh, and I hate it. <laughs> their heads are so disproportionate to the size of their bodies. Like me. <laughs> Even I hate us when we do <laughs> Someone has asked, would <laughs> shush. <laughs> would you rather be trapped in an elevator with a continuous fart smell or lick the bottom of someone's shoe? I would lick the bottom of someone's shoe. Me too. Yeah, I get really claustrophobic in elevators, and if you add a fart smell, <laughs> I'd just kill myself. <laughs> also, you didn't specify how long we would be in the right. lift for. That could be forever. I'd rather lick someone's shoe that stood in horse poo, dog poo, cat poo, every time you yep. have poo. All the poos, <laughs> just for the ability to walk around freely in the world. And not smell like fart. Yeah. <laughs> Although, your breath wouldn't be too great after oh. licking the shoe. <laughs> If you woke up as a male for the day, what would you do? <laughs> I mean, the obvious choice is just touch my own balls all the time. <laughs> do you know what I would do? I would try and do the helicopter. <laughs> Sing a mini duet together. Came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> I never hit so hard in love. All I wanted was to break, break your heart. <laughs> Directly into the camera lens and show a single tear. <laughs> Can't get it out. It's not coming. Or just get naked and swing on a ball. Yeah, is there a sledgehammer I can lick into? <laughs> Someone has asked if we can prank call another YouTuber. So, because we know that Tanya is staying in London as well, we're gonna try and ring her pretending to be her hotel. Great, let's do it. <laughs> Hello, is this Tanya Burr? Hello, Mrs. Hello, Tanya. This is Maxine from the Waldorf. Oh, hi. Hi. I just wanted to tell you that there's been a little uh, organizational error and your room is actually double booked. So we're going to actually have to separate you into another room that we have with another client. Right. Okay. Um, I'm now eating and I have to flush out. Okay. Um, um, what are you moving me to? Uh, we're going to move you into a room with a, a lovely young gentleman. His name is Edward. He uh, He's very, very kind, but we are just overbooked for a few hours, and then by tomorrow morning you should be able to move back into your own room. What, so you want me to move in with someone else? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's really confusing. Would is this a prank call? <laughs> I'm sorry, no, no. Uh, we're moving you only for the night in with uh, Edward, and then tomorrow morning your room will be ready. Um, I don't think that's a good idea. He's very, very nice. He's very, very kind. It's, he won't even be there for. It's usually in and out, so. Um, how do you know what hotel I'm staying in? I'm sorry? How do you know the hotel? Are you gonna, I think you should call the hotel room. You, um, we tried to call your hotel room and it didn't go through, so we have your number on count. Really? Yeah. What? So, who's Edward? Edward is our resident, and because we've overbooked, it's our mistake. We can put you up for an extra night, but we just need you to stay with Edward for tonight. Oh my god, I can't do that. Why? Like, well... He's had um, people stay with him before. Did you say stay with him before? He's had people stay with him before. We've had other residents stay with him before. Um... I'm really confused, Jim. I don't know what's going on. I don't... I don't... I don't think I can stay with... 
Edwards. Tanya, it's Grace Helbig. <laughs> <laughs> this one's slightly more deep. When okay. was the last time you cried? Mine was just now. <laughs> oh, I watched Breaking Bad on the plane on the way over and that got me good. Some of the episodes. I started watching season one and I cried on the plane a little bit. Oh, just you wait till you get to season five. I know, <laughs> I know. I last cried properly, like tears streaming down my face from laughter on the beach on holiday. I was just... Uh, playing in the sand and I thought they were like rocks and things Yeah. I didn't look down and then I looked down and I was like that's a really weird shaped rock it was kind of pointed yeah and I was like it's a dog poo and I'd, been <laughs> <laughs> I'd been playing with a dog poo and it was covered in sand and then I was like oh my god I think I've been playing with a dog poo so I sniffed my hand and I was like I've been playing with a dog poo <laughs> and then I started like laughing so much my eyes were like streaming but I couldn't Wipe the tears because I had <laughs> <dog poo. laughs> That's so on a great vacation. <laughs> Quite a lot of people have pervily asked us to kiss Grace. <sighs> well, if the internet has asked, we probably should do it. to try and both fit into a onesie. We have a onesie. <laughs> Go on, why are you sniffing it? It smelled like ketchup for a second. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought I didn't do it so well. Out of this thing. Okay, so thank you so much for being <gasps> on my channel, Grace. Thank you for having me. I learned a lot about myself and about you. <laughs> <laughs> do you just think I'm weird now? No, I love you more than I do before. <laughs> okay, that's fine then. <laughs> Make sure you head on over to Grace's channel too because we also filmed a video where we gave you some girl advice. Yes because we are girls, last time we checked. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to her and like the video if you enjoyed it and yes, we love you. Bye! Goodbye! Mew, 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 mew! What was that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying a new thing. <laughs> me, Tyler and Troy. It's me and a pretend pug that's made out of card. I'm gonna sneeze. There's one of the pool. Sunset. Oh, lovely. That's me stroking a cat. Great photo.